Hi, everyone. The plan was to accompany that wanderer, flounder. I mean, a friendly interference. But now with COVID and everything, <clears throat> maybe it's I don't, my um, It's about pigeons. <laughs> so maybe, well, <clears throat> for some of you, it, uh, you know the Swedish phenomena of Paus Fogel, like a pause bird, break bird which for some 40 years was um, a program at the Swedish um, state radio. Sort of a long program, but also whenever there was this time slot that needed to be filled, they would just send in a bird singing. I'm also reading this poem about pigeons because there are war pigeons in it. Thinking about animals that are helping Ukraine in the war by sniffing out landmines or simply just being around, comforting, seeing. Du tog sju för tur. Du tog sju för tur. Stout convincing grey or grey greenish. Cooing commenting city guide. Seen on head of monuments. Disturbing peace by peace. Pigeon and man, the first thousands of years. Crumbs hand over at the square. Put a foot down and we rise. Three feet and then back again. Then again, having saved the lost battalion, Cherami got his Croix de Guerre in 1918. Who will pass unnoticed below in sleeping cells, causing network cross blow? Will the war pigeon got back in time, but humans were slow? Will the war pigeon go back in time? Will pass unnoticed? Will try? Will wait? Will fly? Will eat pebbles? Murmuring wheel size velociraptors, doppelganger aired opinion, liking dinosaurs and speedy runners. Will carry message for destruction. Low cover, under cover, cover, low cover, under cover, cover. The dinosaurian key bone under its wing. Wind. And how many wishes now? One for each one crossing the square. Nodding in consent or echoing accusations with a fistful of burning asphalt. A red held fist. Du tog sju för tu. You took seven for two. Took seven for you. 